All right, hello and welcome everyone to Dragon Quest XI, Echoes of an Elusive Age, Definitive Edition S. Probably one of the longest titles I think I've ever experienced. But yes, the next game we're going to be playing is going to be Dragon Quest. Now, we're going to go ahead and create a new adventure log, go ahead and rename. Ignore the old one, it's, um, was a test I did. A little uh, time on my own to see if I can get some settings working. So we are going to be naming our character Eleven. Uh, usually the naming convention that I use for Dragon Quest games is whatever the game, whatever number the game in the series is, or if it has a dedicated name for the main character. It's usually what I do. It just feels right. Um, so for those of you who don't know, I am a long, long time Dragon Quest fan. I've been playing the game since I was little. My first experience with it was Dragon Quest V, which I fell in love with. And then later on, I played Dragon Quest Monster Joker and then 9, which rekindled my love for it. So it made me go back and replay all the Dragon Quest games I've replayed through Dragon Warriors 1 through 3. I've done the recent uh, Switch releases for uh, Dragon Quests 1 through 3 as well. I've played 4, I've played 5 and beaten it years and years ago. Uh, I've played halfway through 6, 7 I have I've beat, and then 8 I've beaten numerous times, and 9 I've beaten plenty of times as well. I haven't played 10 because that's, you know, a Japanese exclusive MMO RPG. And I can't read Japanese, so please, uh, Square Enix, give us uh, an English localization of of 10. You don't even have to make it online. You can make it just a single player. I'll play it, please. I need, I need 10 in my life. And I've played this game at least four or five times and beaten it. So it's not a blind playthrough, but it is going to be, I'd say, a fairly in-depth uh, playthrough of the game. So it'll be fun. I'm looking forward to it. I've, I love this game, and if you guys want to see me uh, play more RPGs, or more Dragon Quest in particular, let me know down in the comments, because, like I said, I love RPGs, I love role-playing games, I love any and all of them, they're, they hit a, a nice little place in my heart, especially old school JRPGs. So we have the name. Draconian Quest is just something that adds harsher restrictions to the game. It's like added difficulty mode. Like normally people would add their own restrictions for say a Nuzlocke or something like that. This is like has the same idea, but you do it in game. So not able to shop. You can't equip items. You, the higher level you are, the lower experience you get from enemies that are weaker than you. Enemies get really strong. Uh, Shy Pox is, you know. This is, okay, this one just affects you. You apparently will get Shy on one attack. This affects all of your people. Um, this is inhabitants of the place will just tell a lie sometimes. And then an old classic, whole party will be wiped out if the protagonist is defeated. Yeah, nice little thing. We're not going to be doing any of this, though. We're just going to be playing a nice vanilla game. So we're going to hit end, and we're going to continue on. Uh, 2D and 3D mode. It, pretty much self-explanatory. This is like old-school JRPG graphics, like in the days of, you know, the NES and SNES. Well, that looks more like late SNES, actually. So, you know, stuff like that. This is, you know, good old classic modern uh RPG type of stuff. Good old 3D. So we're going to be going with that. And it's going to ask us for some settings that are already going to be correct. We're going to have English. We're going to, all that's fine how it is. Brightness, all that's fine. Most of the settings I've already tweaked and made good with uh, already. So we just going to jump right in. Venture Log created success successfully. Man, I'm excited to play this again. It's been a good few months since I last beat it. I wanted to be ready for the PC release. Run, little guy. Don't die. This is a lucky little creature right here. 
Oh man, this... These pre-rendered scenes just look so good. They're so stylized for Toriyama's art and then... Just match. It's It just looks really nice. I love it. Look at that dude's beard. This child is the one who bears the mark. There's no mistaking it. Look at this little no nose freak. are you doing here? And after that awful storm, too. However did you survive? Oh, you're a jolly one. What's this? Oh, you poor thing. Come here. Come here. Oh, there's no need to be frightened anymore. You're safe now, little fellow. And some uh, big Dragon Ball Z early vibes. Grandpa Gohan found Kid Goku, baby Goku. Several years later. We stand on top of a tree staring at a giant floating tree. Hey, Trunks. My knees. Thanks so much. You're a lifesaver. Trust me to lose my headscarf just before the big ceremony. So it's finally here, the big day. I can't believe we're going to be climbing all the way up there. Hmm? <laughs> Looks like Sandy's keen to lead the way. Come on, best not keep her waiting. <laughs> Alright, so before we do anything else, we are going to 
go to miscellaneous. Where is it? System settings? Battle mode. It's gonna be classic camera, and we're gonna set it to fast, at the very least. Confirm. Audio. Yep, everything's good. Uh, keyboard. Let's see. Can I change this? Okay, I guess I can't change my gamepad layout. That's unfortunate. Okay. Claim special rewards. Lords Rewards. We're going to claim these things since I know about the game. Happy Adventurer set. Alright, and so we are going to go ahead and... Uh, just equip the outfit. You know, good old... Dragon Quest 8 fan. We'll throw this on too. Why not? Better gear right at the start. You know, most people probably are going to be a little upset. It's like, oh, why are you using that? Want to cheat? I'm like, no. I just want to. Okay, that's got to go. That's got to be faster. That's. I keep thinking start is to change it, but it's not. So we got to change that uh, that speed to uh, good old 10. There we go. Care movement. Yeah, sure. Actually, no. Off. I don't like it doing that. Cool. Okay. So now, that's much better. God, this game looks so pretty. Alright, we've got things to do. Anyone with a exclamation point over them like that, that's pink, is a quest character that you need to talk to, or someone to help progress the main story. They'll tell you where to go. Start running around. Look at that. I know this game was ported from the Switch, but... Man. Just look at you, Eleven. My little boy all grown up. Now be sure to look after Gemma, you hear? To think you've been inseparable since you were tiny. And here you are, about to climb the tour together. Oh, if you ever lose your way, just follow Sandy. That dog's got more sense than any of us. Off you go now, dear. I know the two of you will be just fine. And I'll make sure there's a delicious supper waiting for you when you get back. Thanks, Mom. Look at Sandy back there. Woof, woof. Shut up. <laughs> Eleven, seeing you and my dear Gemma all set for your big day makes me proud as anything, both as a mayor and as a grandfather. You're not kids anymore, you know. No, you're grown up now. And that means go to the going to the tour and offering your thanks. Now it's time you're on your way. Head up to the top, give praise to the spirit of the land, then come back down and tell us how you like the view. Oh, if you're ever unsure what to do next, try pressing Y and selecting Party Talk. Gemma might have some useful tips for you. You can also just, you know, walk up here. Let's go over here first. You can also walk up to her and say things. Brilliant. It's our big day, Eleven. We finally get to go and do this ceremony. We're going to be grown-ups at last. Yeah, looks like Sandy's excited, as excited as we are. Come on, let's get moving. We don't want to get to the top of... We don't want her to get to the top before us. But you can also go to Y and go to Party Talk, and it'll do that, too. <laughs> yep, there you go. Easy way to talk to all the characters without having to, you know, talk to everybody. Or walk up to them, I should say. Humble folk of Cobblestone, great land spirits, hearth and home. That's how it goes, isn't it? My granddad's been teaching me the prayer ever since I was little. He reckons the spirit of the land really does live on Cobblestone Tour, you see. As long as I can remember, he's been preparing me for this day. The day it would finally be my turn to climb all the way up there and offer my thanks. I just wonder whose idea it was in the first place, sending the village's young folk on such a dangerous errand. What if I take a tumble and do myself a mischief? Well, not to worry. Since you and me were born on the same day, I'm lucky enough to have a bodyguard along for the journey. Come on, then. That craggy old thing won't climb its... Oh! What's the matter, Sandy? Slimes! Look at them. Ah! Monsters! They're coming this way! Those are some big slimes. Watch out! Go on! 
Alright, so now our first taste of the combat. It's pretty much basic turn-based combat. You can... Gemma is a temporary party member that will just stand around and heal us. We can also change our tactics. We can change the settings for the speed, you know, go fast, normal, fast, ultra fast, you know, all that sort of thing. See, yep, they speed up. They slow. I usually just go with fast. It's a nice medium. You can change it from classic camera to free form, which doesn't really do anything. Is you can just kind of move around during the combat. You don't get any special advantage or anything like that. It's just a way to, you know, do some attacks. See, it doesn't give you anything special. You just... I usually go with classic just because it's, you know... I'm a classic JRPG type of fan, so it's what I do. So Sandy has, you have your attack, abilities, spells, items, defend, and equipment. Change any of these things at any time. We're just gonna attack. You know, basic JRPG combat, if you're unfamiliar with it. Go on, you can do it. Alert. Crikey, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, I know they were only little, but I'd have been done for if you and Sandy hadn't been here to help me. And now we've got to go through that horrible, dingy cave. Just our luck. I'll bet you anything that's where those awful things came from. Well... As long as you're with me, I've got nothing to worry about. Come on, let's get going. All right, away we go. But before we head into the tour, if you run up over here, go around this nice big pillar, we got a treasury chest. And there you go. A pot lid, so we'll just equip that. Real fast, real fast. Now we'll go on our way up to the tour. Woof woof, that is correct, Sandy. I'm about to catch up to you. In we go. Welcome everyone to the Cobblestone Tour. A pretty simple dungeon. Pretty straightforward. Just kind of run around, go straight up, enjoy the scenery, all that type of thing. First, gonna make a single detour up here. Up. We have some items we can grab. These little, yep, and you'll see these little sparkly spots on the ground. Pick it up, and you get an item. Usually, it's a medicinal herb or some other type of item that you can use for crafting or healing and such. And now we're gonna to get to a battle. Yep, Gemma's gonna give us tutorial stuff. More monsters. I don't think they've spotted you yet. You should sneak up and try and surprise them. Yep, this is pretty much walk up to an enemy, press A when that little arrow shows up, and then you can get a preemptive strike, which does a little bit of damage at the start, and then you get to attack first. Helpful little thing. Go on. You can do it. In case you didn't notice, yeah, no random encounters. The enemies are all on the overworld for you to see. Like they've done since Dragon Quest Nine, I think. And in the recent re-releases of, you know, 7 and 8. So, and for those of you who don't know, I'm going to play this out right now. I'm going to try and not show grinding on screen. I'm not going to actively avoid enemies, but as opposed, but as opposed to what I'm doing now, I'm not going to actively get in battles either. Now, if I get into a battle, oh well, I'll try and edit it out. If not, then, well. But I'm not going to show on-screen grinding a whole ton. This is the initial area, so just to give you guys a feel of what you're going to be seeing. Though the one rule I will do is I fight every enemy in an area at least once. You know, just to mitigate. It's a form of grinding, I guess, but it's a way to mitigate it. So, and that way I can fill up my bestiary and say I defeated all the enemies in area well done. and we leveled up we got a new spell frizz a fire base little fireball that we can throw at an enemy it's nice 
But yeah, I'm going to be fighting every enemy in a dungeon or an area at least once. So prepare for prepare for that at the very least. But most random or most battles that I get into, such as grinding, I may feel I need to do or you know, if an enemy just happens to run into me, I'm going to try and edit those out. But, but let me know what you guys want to see. Do you want to see every random encounter? Do you guys want to see uh, every battle that I do with each enemy? Or would you rather me cut all that out? Let me know. Because I'd be more than happy to, you know, leave all the battles in. Less work for me. But I'd also be happy to, you know, edit out the unnecessary battles that I may just accidentally happen to get into. And also, I'd like to show me fighting at least one enemy. That way you guys can... See these beautiful, beautiful character designs that Toriyama has created. But if you don't want to see that, that's fine. I can edit out all random battles. Just let me know what you want to see. A little detour. Down over here, some pots. With a medicinal herb and... Uh, five gold coins. And like that, we reach the halfway point. Just about. Yeah, there it is. But obviously I won't edit out mandatory battles, you know, boss battles, specific special battles that need to be done. I'm not gonna take those out, but. I don't think you guys would expect me to do that. I could just do remove all battles. You see no battles and not even boss battles. You just, all right, time for the boss. Edits it out. Okay, well, now it's time for no boss. Oh yeah, and that's a new addition. Uh, you get like little character text to, for them to say things to you during battle. It's nice. And you have some nice interactions between bosses and NPCs and your, you know, characters that are with you. So it's nice. Now, I know Frizz does quite a bit of damage to these guys. And it makes this fight kind of trivial. And especially since this is kind of easy mode. Any sort of trouble we get in. Gemma's gonna, you know, throw an item at us and heal it, so. Two frizzes, he's gone. Don't be paralyzed. You can do it. Spells, frizz, smog. And then just, see, single file, she heals me. We're gonna do that. There we go, smogs are defeated. Another level up. I'm sorry, Gemma. I only came up here because I thought it'd be funny to jump out and surprise you. But then those monsters appeared. What in the world is going on? I never heard anything about monsters appearing on the tour before. But never mind that now. Whatever were you thinking? You could have been killed. You take Sandy and get back to the village this instant. Y yes Gemma. Sorry, Gemma. You saved my bacon again. I knew you were tough, but crikey, you really have grown into quite the hero. 
Not far to the top now. And then rain. Oh, typical. It would have to go and start raining, wouldn't it? Come on, let's get a move on. And now we get to enjoy in the rain. I'm singing in the rain. No, I'm not. Oh yeah, you can jump, as opposed to many RPGs. It's nice. Let's climb this ladder. Or this rope, I should say. Vine. Hmm. Oh yeah. Pretty much tutorial stuff. Press A to climb the ropes or ladders and such. Have these. Just walk up to these. You kind of just go along it. Uh, you could go down this vine, or you could do that. Not much further now. Keep close to the cliffs, and don't let your nerves get the better of you. Yep, yep, yep. Up. Continue to climb up all of these. And onward we go. Yep, we are here. Ah, Garuda. Or Chimera, I can't remember what they call him in this game. of lightning it was almost like you made it happen <sighs> look the mark on your hand huh? oh it stopped well we can worry about that later all I know is that you saved me yet again. I don't know what I'd do without you. Now, we really had better be finishing up this ceremony. Humble folk of cobblestone, great land spirits hearth and home. Lift your voices up in prayer, sing it across all our drear. Blessed are we since days of yore. Let it be so forevermore. <gasps> wow! Look! Doves. goes on and on and on whoever dreamed up this ceremony must have had this in mind they wanted to show us how huge our world really is <laughs> well that's it it's all over and now we're grown-ups should we head down and tell granddad and everyone they'll all be waiting for us at the bottom yeah, I guess so. Let me take in this view. 
Away we go. Eleven and Gemma make their way back to the bottom of the tour. We made it. Come on, Gemma. Hello, Sandy. Thanks for bringing back Cole safely, Sandy. Good girl, I knew you could do it. I'm sorry, Gemma. I thought it would be funny to jump out and surprise you. I'm an idiot. I'll never do it again, I promise. Well, the main thing is that everyone's alright. You can never be too careful with monsters around. We owe you one, Eleven. And Gemma and Sandy, too. My Cole told me everything. He told me how you fought off those horrible, foggy monsters. I don't know how to thank you. You and Gemma aren't hurt either. Oh, that's such a relief. And Gemma, what are you doing? Are you jealous? Of the way she looked at me? That lightning was terrifying. Were you lot all right up there? I'm ever so sorry you poor things had to go through such an awful ordeal. So you did it. You've been up to the top of the tour. Well, you'd better let the mayor know. Everyone will be desperate to hear how you got up there. Don't keep them waiting, you hear? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Hello, father. Come on, Gemma. You run so slow. We're back safe and sound, Grandad. Indeed you are, my dear. Thank the spirits for that. When we saw lightning striking up there, we got a little worried, I have to tell you. <laughs> well, I never. Sounds like it's nothing short of a miracle that you made it back in one piece. Well, there's no doubt about it. The spirit of the land was watching over you. Now tell me, my dear. How was the view from the top? Oh, it was wonderful. I saw the sea stretch into the horizon and the sunlight playing on the water and... Oh, I've never seen anything like it in my life. <laughs> You're true cobblestonians now. Only we have the pleasure of looking out over the world of Erdria in such breathtaking fashion, you know. You're still young, and the day may yet come when you decide to leave Cobblestone behind. I hope our little ceremony has opened your eyes to a little of what may await you out there. Now, it's high time we were heading back. I'm sure your mother is eager to hear how things went, young man. Don't keep poor Amber in suspense. <laughs> Come on you, home time. <laughs>